Good morning. It is cold and dark and uni started last week. I'm not feeling the best about those three things. I feel like because there was a weird heat wave, it's then gone from like very hot to very cold very suddenly and my brain is not happy about it and uni's gone back and this is kind of my first week that I'm properly in Edinburgh at uni because I've been off doing random things and I haven't quite like settled into the uni year I don't think so I'm going to try and get that done you know mentally, physically, all of the above this week and see how that goes I've got work today and then I'm going to come back and take some stuff into the art studio and just get painting because what do I do when I'm feeling low? I paint. I'm not exactly feeling low. I just feel like it's like so cold and dark in Edinburgh. It's just depressing. I'm not a huge fan of uni going back. Like it doesn't fill me with joy. So with that and it getting like cold and dark, I feel like they're both mixing into one like sad, bad thing. On the plus side, I've been making Turkish coffee. I don't think I'm making it perfectly. I don't think I'm making it traditionally, but my dad really got into Turkish coffee and then he bought me some Turkish coffee grounds. Is that the word? And like a little stovetop cup thing to make the Turkish coffee. In Turkish coffee, you basically just put the grounds into water let them boil and then just pour it out. It's a very low effort way of making coffee, which I adore. A lot less stress than anything else and a lot less cleanup. And it's tasty. It's surprisingly tasty. Like I don't add sugar or milk and it tastes very smooth, very nice. My shift is over. It's kind of windy, so I hope you can hear me. The shift was good. It was really, really quiet for the first like two hours and then it got really, really busy and it got a bit stressful. I'm feeling better. The sun has come out. Honestly, like bad weather makes me so sad. Like it genuinely ruins my mood. No, it just like affects my mood and I have to put more effort into being upbeat. But the moment like the sun comes out, I'm literally a new woman. I'm unstoppable. Because of the strikes already, my first tutorial this week has been cancelled and rearranged. So that is exciting. So I understand why the strikes are happening like entirely, like completely I support them. But it is crazy how much uni I've missed because of strikes. And I still have not got all my marks back for last year. I think my plan now is I'm gonna go back to the flat and then go into the studio and start like a painting or something. That's crazy. Me, a painting student doing painting, who to thank? It's so windy. I also have a spot coming on my nose. And it's like sore, it's like painful. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry if you can, but it hurts.
Hi guys, I am back from the art studio. I did a little bit of painting just to kind of get back in the swing of things since I haven't done a huge amount of painting over summer. I came home to a parcel which I'm very excited about. It is a winter hat. I get very cold ears in the winter and in Edinburgh when it gets windy my ears get cold and for some reason they're weirdly sensitive and it's the worst like searing pain you can imagine. It gives me a headache for hours and I can't handle it. So I need to wear a lot of hats during the winter. So I got myself a new hat to make myself feel better about the dreary weather. What are we thinking? I think it's kind of cute. Oh, I like that. I look a bit frazzled right now. It's the next day, I just finished work, it's about 2.30 and I'm feeling a lot more um, positive about the world. I was kind of in a bad mood yesterday, oh my god, I'm sorry guys. I'm feeling better. I had a really nice shift at work because it wasn't busy at all. I learned how to pull a shot. And you might be surprised that I've been working in a cafe for many months now and I still didn't know how to pull a shot. I'm front of house, not a barista, but I now know how to pull a shot. But I am fighting my natural urges just to get into bed and go to sleep and I am going to go to a cafe and get some work done. Honest to God, I can only work effectively if I'm in a busy space full of people. And like uni libraries make me want to have a panic attack. I don't know why. They have a weird vibe to them. It's too quiet. I hate it. So cafes are the place I go to. So I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to go find a cafe, sit in it for a bit. I also need to pick up a card from my sister. So I'm going to do that as well. Taking you guys with me because otherwise I will just get into bed and I have to hold myself accountable. Fit check! Okay. Okay, so that was kind of productive, kind of not. I needed to do it because I need to start thinking about my dissertation question. But also I have still not got a dissertation question. I've got the ideas that I want to explore, the artists I want to study. I just cannot get the question. But hopefully next week I'm gonna book a meeting with my tutor and we can discuss and it'll all be okay. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye now because I need to wrap my mum and my sister's birthday presents. I hope you are all doing well this cold autumn and I will see you next time. I love you, bye!